Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Tardis and welcome to my review of Real Time Pictures Day of the Daughters. Now Real Time Pictures are an independent production company who are mainly well known in the Doc 2 community for doing their Myth Makers series of interviews. They've also done their own unofficial spin-off material based around the Doctor Who universe. They've done a bunch of documentaries centered around each specific Doctor. You've probably seen their material around. And one of their most recent releases is called Day of the Daughters, where Nicholas Briggs, the Dalek voice actor and also also the head of Big Finish Productions, sat down for a series of interviews at Spearhead Live 2, the Doctor Who convention at the location where Robot and Spearhead from Space was filmed, and spoke to the actors Sadie Miller and Daisy Ashford. Now Sadie is the daughter of the late Elizabeth Sladen, and Daisy is the daughter of the late Caroline John. Those are the actors who played Sarah Jane Smith and Liz Shaw in the 1970s and beyond for Doctor Who. This documentary is directed and produced by Keith Barnfather and Rob Thrush, and Here's the trailer. Hello, I'm Nick Briggs, and among other things, I'm the creative director of Big Finish Productions, who have a license from the BBC to make Doctor Who audio drama. Now, the actors who portray the characters in Doctor Who only have human lifespans, which sadly means that sometimes we lose some of them. They leave a great legacy of adventures, but of course we can't make any new stories with them. So a number of years ago, I'm not sure when how or why, we came up with the notion of sensitively recasting some of those roles. I'm here today at the location for Spearhead from Space and Robot with Sadie Miller and Daisy Ashford. Spoiler alert, Sadie Miller is the daughter of the late Elizabeth Sladen, who played Sarah Jane Smith in Doctor Who, and Daisy Ashford is the daughter of the late Caroline John, who played Dr. Elizabeth Shaw. Now, I've been working with Sadie and Daisy for a number of years as they recreate their mother's roles, but I've never actually asked them how they feel about it all. So let's find out. Hey, Winnie. You knew I was recording and that's why you came up, wasn't it? Come on, Winnie. This here is my daughter. This is my day of the daughter. Hi, Winnie. Now, some of my viewers may remember that I already reviewed this documentary on my live stream, and the reason I'm doing this one is because I wasn't really happy with that review. Oh, bye Winnie. Firstly, because I made the mistake of calling Caroline John Caroline Ford, people thought I mistook her for Caroline Ford and said that she'd passed away. And secondly, while doing the review, I saw on this official website page that they called Daisy Ashford Daisy Ashcroft, and it says it here, but on the poster it does say Daisy Ashford, and on the Big Finish Contributions page and on her Twitter she is Daisy Ashford, so I think this is just a mistake, but it threw me during the review. I think this needs correcting on the Real Time Pictures website. But the hour-long document entry is a series of really interesting and candid interviews conducted by Nicholas Briggs talking to Sadie and Daisy individually and then together as a pair. Because these two actors are in a really interesting position where they have to play their mother's characters for Big Finish Audio. And how do they feel about that whole process? We'll talk about that in a moment but I wanted to open this review by saying that it was inspired to get Nicholas Briggs as the host of this documentary and doing these interviews. Because not only is he right for this material, he knows Doctor Who like the back of his hand, He's the head of Big Finish Productions. He's also really like soft-spoken and he's got a really informal presence around the two actresses. So it feels like they're in a comfortable and welcoming environment to open up about a pretty sensitive subject. But also because over the course of the documentary, we see B-roll footage of Nicholas Briggs in the late 90s and the early 2000s interviewing Elizabeth Sladen and Caroline John. So Nicholas Briggs is not only a massive Doctor Who fan, but he's somebody who has actually met their mothers before. And there's that lovely unspoken spoken connection of the host of this documentary sort of being a go-between between between these two generations. There's a wonderful moment in the documentary where Nick makes Daisy laugh and Nick is like your laugh sounds exactly like your mother's and he would know he did interview her. Now if you're after a documentary about the voice acting process for lack of a better term or the technique and how Sadie and Daisy capture their mother's voices for audio because these are impressions at the end of the day you're not really going to get that here this is more about the emotional process of it. Not that that's an issue at the end of the day but I don't want people going into this who are really interested in the voice acting craft and wanting to pick up some tips or advice and that's not what this documentary is. It's about these two women being able to open up about their experiences and the wonderful narratives and the synchronicity of these two actresses in particular. Where Sadie and Daisy lost both of their mothers in the early 2010s due to cancer and growing up they were only kind of sort of aware of Doctor Who but they still joined their mothers on the convention circuit in the 80s and 90s not really understanding the 
this attachment that the world and the Doctor Who community had to these women, and how decades later they are playing these roles, Sarah Jane Smith and Liz Shaw, and they've been sort of welcomed in by the fans like their mothers were. But yes, ask me to do the Cyberman story, I think it was November 2019, wasn't it? Which seems like a whole... Oh no! Was it? Yeah, no, I think you're right. Yeah, a whole right. world away. Now, we were all discussing Absolutely. Brexit, no no idea of a pandemic looming on the horizon at no. all. And um, it was lovely to be in that green room with everyone, with you, of course, and with Tom and just um, Chris Chris Naylor as well. Just yeah, a lovely... Playing Harry, yeah. yeah. Um, amazing experience. And I obviously thought that it would just be a one a one-off. And then when I was there, David Richardson said, you know, would you like to do some more? And I said, yes, please. <laughs> and it went from there, really. So, Yes, he came to me and lovely. said, this is this is going well. You, should we get, ask her if she wants to do more? I said, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how lovely. Um, were there mixed emotions about it? Not really. I mean, it sounds a bit silly. So I'm quite a, a spiritual person. And prior to that time I'd been going through a very very difficult time and when it happened I almost felt like it was my mum intervening and giving me oh sorry, oh, sorry. Um, giving me a, a gift of something to say you know this is going to be the next part of, of your of your life now reaching reaching through to me for it so it felt very prophetic in a way that it happened at that that time in the way that it did um, and to just get to be around so many lovely people and to come to conventions and see the love that people have for the show and and for each other I've made some amazing friends just from from the community of it all it's so wide-reaching and waffling a bit now but it was a very emotional experience definitely but maybe not for the reason people think I felt it brought me closer to her and that connection to her rather than worrying about it I, I wasn't even worried about my own performance <laughs> at all I was just so excited to do it also, side note, if you were a Doctor Who fan in the early 2010s, it was a traumatic time to be a Doctor Who fan, specifically of the classic series, because it was like an 18-month period where we lost Nicholas Courtney, who played the Brigadier, we lost Elizabeth Sladen, and we lost Caroline John in like an 18-month span of time. It was traumatic. And the last few minutes of the documentary dedicated to Daisy Ashford talking about how it's like a, a universal experience to lose a parent for the most part, but nobody deals with it in the same way. It's a really unique unifier, but a very somber and morbid way to differentiate yourself from the rest of the world. It's, it's a really thoughtful piece, and it was a very like somber ending to the documentary that I really appreciated. It, it's a really thought-provoking and affectionate documentary, I thought. Now, if I had any issues with Day of the Daughters. They are minor, they are nitpicks. There's more the idea of what they could have included in this documentary. For example, this was filmed at a Doctor Who convention, and there's B-roll at the beginning of it where we see Katie Manning there. Now, Katie Manning did not work on screen with Caroline John and Elizabeth Sladen, but did know the two. So it might have been interesting to get her thoughts on the recasting for like 30 or 40 seconds. It might have been interesting to hear from Tim Traylor or Christopher Naylor, who are also impressionists to work on the third and fourth Doctor Big Finish ranges and more. Or maybe even gotten the thoughts of Tom Baker, who did work with Elizabeth Sladen in the 70s and is now working with Elizabeth Sladen's daughter, Sadie, for Big Finish Productions now. I know that he wasn't at the convention, but this is done in collaboration with Big Finish to an extent. Nicholas Briggs is there. This is here to talk about their Big Finish performances. They could have maybe have gotten a minute of Tom Baker. I don't know. It feels like something that might have added an extra dimension to the film that is a bit of a missed opportunity, I think. Also, because this was filmed at a actual convention, you may may need to be a bit patient with some of the sound of the film. If you're listening to it with headphones, you may hear the occasional banging off in the distance or shouting or people running upstairs at the convention centre. Yeah, it, you know, you hear a lot of that when listening to the documentary. It's not a deal breaker, this is a nitpick, but if you are particularly sensitive to those issues, there's your warning. But overall, I thought Day of the Daughters was a wonderfully put together documentary from Real Time Pictures, and I think it's great for Daisy Ashford and Sadie Miller to be able to voice their their opinions and their feelings on the subject. I think they've been doing terrific work at Big Finish Productions and I'm looking forward to hearing what they do next. Speaking of which, if you are wanting a couple of quick recommendations for Sarah Jane and Liz Shaw adventures from Big Finish, I highly recommend Sontarans vs. Rutan's Children of the Future. We've got Sadie Miller as Sarah Jane, John Coleshaw as the Brigadier. It's a really, really good hour-long Third Doctor story. I also highly recommend the Third Doctor Adventures Volume 7 and Volume 8. They've got 
two stories apiece, each featuring Sarah Jane or Liz. The Unzal Incursion is a great Liz Shaw story. The Devil's Hoof Prince is a great Sarah Jane story. The Devil's Hoof Prince is like top tier third Doctor Big Finish. I can't recommend it enough. Also, I think Intelligence for War, which is the latest third Doctor Adventures set starring Daisy Ashford, I think that's really good. It's a particularly good Liz Shaw story, but it is one of those epic seven part three Doctor stories like they're trying to emulate from season seven. So there's a lot to it, but it's really good. So yeah, that's my review of Real Time Productions Day of the Daughters. Let me know your thoughts if you've watched the documentary, if you wanted to check it out. Let me know in the comment section below what your favourite Sadie Miller and Daisy Ashford performance is in Big Finish Productions. I want to hear from you. And folks, I'll see you all next time.